How's everybody doing? Good. Very good. Thank you all so much for coming to join me for story time with Deadpool. Now, how many of you were here for the very first one today? Raise your hands. Okay, well, I'm only going to do that one again, so don't spoil it for your neighbor. Yeah, don't ruin things. Let's have some fun for everybody. Today's story is very important. It's relevant. It's full of action. Ooh. Romance. Oh, we like that, huh? And I'm sure it's going to win some awards come the end of the year, so keep your eyes open. This story is Beauty Pool and the Wolver Beast. Very good. Glad you like that part. Wonderful. <clears throat> That's not real. Okay. <laughs> Once upon a time. That, every time. Okay. Uh, it's in my contract that we have to get everybody to do this as audience interaction. So let's all say that at the same time. Ready? Once upon a time. That was way better than the second show. <laughs> Once upon a time. I was walking along, captivated by my favorite book, The Art of War by Sun Tzu. When suddenly I heard the galloping of my father's horse, Philippe. Do it with. Those of you who were here for the first one should already be doing it. Clap, clap, make a gallop. Thank you. Jeez, interact. You see, my father had left for the fair earlier that day. And now here Philippe was, my father. No longer in the saddle. <gasps> there we go, first show, people. <laughs> oh, Philippe, I said to the horse, where is Papa? Is he okay? <laughs> He's here. Yeah, you can hear him neighing over here. No, you see, Philippe didn't speak any English. I don't know why I talked to him like that. He just looked at me and whinnied. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. And I don't speak horse, so I just mounted Philippe's back and said, away to Papa, and away we galloped. Yes, there we go, perfect. We galloped deep, deep into a dark and scary forest. Okay, that's enough. I'll ask for more later when I want it. It was so dark, so scary. It was like going to a Waffle House at 3 a.m. in Van Nuys, yeah. <laughs> but as I was there, I came to a clearing, and out of the mist arose an enchanted mansion, Professor Xavier's School for Gifted Youngsters. <laughs> I dismounted Philippe and sent him on his way, because I knew who lived in this mansion. It was the horrible, the Come on, we don't got time for stories. Let's go. Hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, it's Wolverine, everybody. Come here, yeah, they yeah, love yeah. you. Come Just on, they don't... stand right here and act like you're happy to be here. Fine. Be heroic. This is a photo moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. One of these and we're out of here. Yeah. All right, good. Come on, let's go. We don't no, got time. No, hey, hey, this isn't for me, Wolverine. This is for the children. <laughs> And for all the people posting this live on TikTok. Fine. I'm doing this for you, kid. That's nice. Shut it. All right. Now, don't touch me. All right. So, uh, Belle. Beauty pool. I'm not saying beauty pool. You have to, it's in the contract. Beauty pool meets a bunch of weirdos who are furniture and dishes. And cutlery, it's important, they sing and dance. Then, the real hero shows up, the beast. The wolver beast, come on, it's a parody, you have to stick with it. Anyway, Pooh Boy makes a mess of things as usual, then it's up to Wolverine to save the day. Uh, blah, 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 I slice up some bad guys Ooh. while Beauty Queen over here stands in the corner making a bunch of stupid jokes with outdated cultural references. <gasps> My jokes are funny and they are not outdated. They are culturally relevant and everlasting just like Bugs Land. <laughs> What happened to Bugs Land? 
No, 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 no. This whole thing is going south. You didn't even do the part about Mrs. Potts or Lumiere, Cogsworth, or even Chef Boosh. Yeah, it's a deep cut for all you magic key holders out there. <laughs> Chef Boosh is the stove. Yep, yeah, they, they knew. Come on. With you, I expected a few bars of tale as old as time. I said no musical theater. Really? Les Mis, Oklahoma, Man From Oz? <laughs> you even hosted the Tonys twice. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, well, I clearly touched a nerve, so we're going to wrap this story up. Uh, I guess the moral of the story, everybody, is don't ever open your door to strangers because they might be crazy witches who will enchant your entire home and all your guests just for not letting them come in out of the rain. That is a weird story, huh? You think? Disney did this? I hope the rest of them are more positive than that. <laughs> all right, well, anyway, let's go ahead and... Let you say the magic words to finish it off. What? You know, the good way to end all Disney stories. And don't any of you say post credit scene, all right? Those are way overused and only for the Feige Cinematic Universe, the FCU, which has too many letters. I'm out of here. Should... Oh, I'm sorry, did I break too much fourth wall for you? Can you hear me when I'm doing that? He's gone. Okay, well. For what it's worth, they all lived happily ever after. Thank you. Thank you.